pleasure to be here this morning. Thank you very much. Steph Freeback. <coughs> And magic. Cool. Well, first off, uh, uh, thank you so much for coming, and, and we are we are delighted to be in Cambridge. We we as a as a company uh, got founded out of Princeton. Uh, I, for, for for those of you who don't know, um, uh, I attended Princeton for a year. I'm a proud Princeton dropout. So we actually got started. Uh, they teach you everything important at Princeton in the first two semesters. Everything else is is, is not that relevant. Uh, so we got started in Princeton. We actually moved the company down to Philadelphia to uh, uh, participate in Dream Adventures, which is one of these startup incubator programs. Uh, and so we got started in, in, in Princeton, moved to Philadelphia, made the move up to uh, Cambridge, uh, and it's been one of the best choices we've made. This is an incredible ecosystem, incredible environment, and, and we're, we're really excited to build a, a really big, meaningful, consumer-facing tech company uh, you know, right here. Uh, so thank you for all the support in making that happen. And with that, uh, I want to jump into what the next part of this big, meaningful company that we're building is going to look like. Um, and, and I am nowhere near as eloquent as the mayor, so I have to cheat and I have slides. Uh, so the first thing I need to say is hello. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier when it's written in 92 point font. So hello, thank you for coming. We really appreciate all of you waking up at this super ungodly hour uh, to come and join us. We've got something really exciting. Uh, we hope it's going to be worth your time. So, so thank you, first off, for coming. Uh, a bit of background on Scavenger. I want to do sort of the last uh, year, really the last nine months in about 90 seconds. Um, Scavenger really started becoming a big thing on the scene about nine months ago. Uh, we launched into the consumer space. Uh, late May, we basically launched Scavenger as you know it now. In June, we launched this thing called the social check-in, trying to take the idea of location-based engagement further, make it more social, make it more engaging, enable people to check in together at places. So you go, you know, you go to a bar Tuesday at 2 p.m. and check in by yourself, that might be kind of sad. If you go to a bar Tuesday at 2 p.m. and check in with friends and you're actually there together, you know, that could be cause for celebration. So launched the social check-in. In July, we started working with major brands right here in Massachusetts and New England, Patriots Partnership. In August, we launched something really interesting called Rewards. Uh, rewards are a new game element in the location-based ecosystem, a, a, a game element that isn't what should I do at a place, but rather what do I get at a place. And so we launched this to start with some national brands with Journeys and have since rolled out with GameStop and Coca-Cola and Sony and Warner Brothers and a lot of major brands. But more interestingly, in September, we started working with all sorts of local businesses to help them build challenges, fun things to do on Scavenger and rewards, things that you could unlock on Scavenger to engage with people, to create loyalty, to invite people to engage with their business. And that's been great. In, in October, we launched with our, with our largest national retail partner to date, GameStop, 6,000 locations. There are now rewards live at something like 25,000 locations here in the States uh, and a lot more internationally. Uh, in early November, we launched with uh, the biggest brand that we've ever launched with, Coca-Cola. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's this really popular brown fizzy drink. Uh, it's quite good. I'd recommend it. Um, <coughs> Late November, we hit half a million users. It took us about six months to hit half a million users. Early December, we released our, our, our most recent app. Uh, and in late December, uh, we took over Times Square, uh, working with Big Brother, Big Sister, and American Eagle to get people to engage uh, with uh, Scavenger in Times Square around New Year's and New Year's resolutions. So that was 2010. 2010 was a good year. Uh, 2011 is going to be even better, but we've only got a couple months in, so I'll do it in 30 seconds. Um, in early January, um, people started taking notice of, of the growth that Scavenger was having. We raised $15 million uh, from Google Ventures, Highland Capital, and Boulderton Capital uh, just about a, a couple weeks ago um, at, at a really nice valuation, which has been exciting for all of us. Uh, in late January, we launched with Buffalo Wild Wings and started to show some really incredible results for major national brands. Over the four weeks that their campaign has been live, over 130,000 people have gone into Buffalo Wild Wings locations, played on Scavenger, completed challenges, unlocked rewards. 30% uh, of them come back within seven days to play again. So really great engagement. Early February, we hit a million users. Took us about half the time to add our second half million as it did our first half million. So things are going really well there. Um, Mid-February, we announced that we're preloaded on four million Androids um, uh, with the Sprint network. And those are shipping. They started uh, shipping into stores a couple of weeks back, and it's shipping through the rest of the year. And then uh, in just a couple of days, I'm headed down to South by Southwest to deliver the opening keynote about this thing that we all like to talk about, um, 
not scavenger, I like talking about scavenger a lot, but, but, but a, more, a more theoretical thing called the game layer on top of the world, which is the idea of taking game mechanics and moving them into the real world to achieve great things, whether it's in education or with local businesses or with just having fun wherever you are. Um, that's sort of uh, going to be a really exciting thing for us. So that's 2011. And the natural question is, you know, I didn't call you here to just uh, uh, talk about you know, the last stuff. It's, it's great, but what's next? What's happening that's, that's really interesting? And so we're here today to talk about what Scavenger is doing next and how we're going to make the location-based space really, really sing for local businesses. And when it comes down to it, the location-based space is about two things. It's about loyalty and it's about engagement. Uh, there's a huge ecosystem that's been built up to help with new customer acquisition, uh, Groupon, Living Social, all sorts of things to drive tons of customers. And everyone sort of looks to the location-based space to help people engage with those places, to find the places they love, to build a sense of loyalty, to make it a much richer, more meaningful experience. And we want to be able to do that with the game layer. And we've done it a lot with check-in, with challenges, with rewards. And the next location-based entity that we're bringing is something called Level Up. Uh, which I'm going to be talking to you in a lot more detail about in just a couple seconds. Uh, but first, you know, natural question is, is why now? Uh, part of the reason is uh, a lot of our backers were, were kind enough to pour a lot of money into Scavenger and pour a lot of money into the Cambridge ecosystem and enable us to do a lot of research and development on the game layer, to focus uh, a little bit in an esoteric fashion on what game mechanics in the real world actually look like, how we can use them to give us the flexibility to launch some pilots, to experiment with things. Uh, we want to take the idea of location-based services and make them more mainstream. Uh, right now, the LBS space has a great amount of buzz, but still only about 4% of America is actually using uh, location-based services, and that other 96% is where the opportunity really lies. So we needed a new type of location-based interaction, one that answered some of the core questions of the LBS space, the biggest question that you know, anyone gets when they're trying to pitch anything or when, you know, whether it's location-based space or anything, is what am I going to get out of this? You know, we want users to check in, we want them to do challenges, we want them to have fun, and a natural response is, what do I get? So we wanted to try and find a new location-based unit that blends the best parts of the check-in, the challenge, and the reward all into one really, really bite-sized consumable location-based unit. The, the fourth and probably most important one is we want to add more value to local businesses. We've seen that with our large brand partners, about 1,500 uh, large enterprises and counting, uh, we can add tremendous value. We can really make uh, their places engaging. We can get people to go. We can get them to come back. With local businesses, we wanted to take it to the next level. We wanted to not just be able to make a social media impact, not just be able to help these large brands engage with people, but we wanted to be able to actually make a difference at the register, to drive really, really meaningful results, make it social, make it engaging, make it fun, and build something that they can point to at the end of the day and say, this is making my business better. And the final part is we wanted to get in the transaction. We wanted to help make that, uh, that analytics of, of what this is doing to the register, how this is helping me grow my business, really, really clear, put it right up front, make it happen. So uh, enough, enough preamble. You know, ideally, those sound good. But what is it? What it is is called Level Up. And Level Up is something that we're launching uh, as a standalone web app, iPhone app, Android app today in two cities, Boston and Philadelphia. And in short, uh, Level Up brings you tons of new customers that level up into regulars. The idea is that we want to build a location-based mobile social gaming unit that is all about one word, and that word is loyalty. And it's an awesome word, and it's a word that's often overlooked when it comes to sort of the local deal space, but one that we really want to make happen because the places you love, the places you're loyal to, the places where you're a regular, the places that really engage you with the, with the rich nature of their, you know, of their business, those are the places that make your life awesome, and we want to help you find them and help them find you. Uh, so, level up, what's your deal? Um, we're a Google, uh, uh, Google Ventures-backed company based here in Cambridge. We're building a game layer on top of the world. That means we're bringing game dynamics into the real world. And generally speaking, game mechanics in the real world is powerful for all sorts of things, but the biggest one that we want to use this level up product and this level up pilot to explore is the idea of attracting tons of new customers and using um, magic, uh, game mechanics magic, to try and turn them into regulars. So, the natural question is, what is a level up? And at its core, a level up is a modified type of local deal. It's the first true alternative to a local deal. Right now, the local deal space is great at customer acquisition, the location-based space is great at customer engagement, and the two are 